Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Currently, I'm in Cape May, New Jersey, because we always joke and say that Cape May truly is a Hallmark movie. And granted, they were in two movies this year, though they were like cut short scenes and didn't really mean anything to the movie, but I guess we can kind of still count it. So I always love coming this time of year to show you guys what Cape May looks like. And so we're doing it once again for the 2022 Cape May Christmas Tour. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe, you turn in notifications, and you give this video a thumbs up. A special thank you out to my patrons on Patreon.com. It's because of them I can make videos like this in 32 degree weather. If you too want to support this channel, all you have to do is click the links in the description below and you can have your name at the end of the video. Anyway, let's get started. We're currently in Rotary Park and you can see the beautiful Christmas tree right behind me. Let's do this. We are getting started in Rotary Park because this is where the main tree is. And let me tell you, this thing is absolutely gorgeous. Look at its sparkle. I'm going to zoom in for you to take a look. It is so gorgeous. And then, of course, you know, they decorate every single bush and tree in here goes around the entire way. Before we cross over to the Washington Street Mall, I figured why don't we cross over Lafayette because if you look behind me, Elaine's looks amazing with its lights on and then the Cape May Theater over here looks great too, so let's cross the street. This is what the Cape May Stage Theater looks like. So many lights, as you know, there's a lot of shows going on. So if you wanna check out a cool show, make sure you book it in advance because it sells up pretty quickly. But we're going to make it right down here and check out probably one of the brightest establishments right now. There are tons and tons of lights, inflatables, and so many other things to check out here next time you're in town. I mean, look at the building. It is straight up like <laughs> blinding. Maybe the camera can't show it as well, but it is bright. Here's the other side. It's not open at the moment. I purposely waited because I felt it'd be weird to film with people here. But they did such a fantastic job, right? We have now found our way to the Washington Street Mall. And this is looking down the other way. The lights look amazing, don't they? I figured while we're on the mall, let's go ahead and peek into some of the windows and see some of the decorations stores put together. As we are walking down the mall, you'll notice that the fountains are off. Yes, things do freeze. We do get freezing temperatures, but you can see they added in Christmas trees and some plants. We're going to walk down a little bit and peer into some of the windows. Here's Cape May Boutique. Now we filmed this on a Tuesday, so things have closed by 5 p.m. That's why you won't notice too many stores open. Look inside, you can see some of their cool decorations. We're gonna be passing Delaney's in a second. You can see they actually did really great on their windows. These stars are really bright. Actually, snowflakes are really bright, that's why it's kind of blinding in the video. I didn't see this before, but on the other side of Delaney's, look at this. <laughs> Here is a <laughs> dolphin with a top hat. You got an octopus with a beard. You got a crab with a, I think it's an elf hat. You got a whale. And more of the same down here with a marlin with a top hat. <laughs> so clever, I love it. And we're gonna pan across the way. And you can see, look at this pretty garland they put up. They put this up every year, but I still can't get over how pretty it is. And my wife keeps saying, hey, we need to get this for home. <laughs> you can see how there's ornaments in there. The lights. It looks great. Okay, we're going to cross over. And you can see a beautiful window display. Let's take it closer. <laughs> I know it's hard to see. It's a little dark. You can see Santa over here giving out presents. It's a young Santa. <laughs> but I like how they put the lights down here. It's got a sleigh filled with lots of candy. And um, it's so cold, I should have probably purchased this hat for myself. <laughs> 
Let's continue down. We're gonna head towards Congress Hall. Bath time, did a great job as always. Tons of awesome lights and rubber duckies. <laughs> Next is Whale's Tail. That always does a great job as well. Look at this. <laughs> These ornaments are awesome. You got a crab and a lobster. Too cute. I'm gonna go across the way and check out these guys' trees. Looks like they have socks on their trees. <laughs> and some really cool gifts too. You got a Ferris wheel that moves. Looks like it's made out of water, you can build it. But yeah, there are definitely socks on those trees. It's funny too, because it's also like half a tree. It's like split down the middle. Half there and then half over here. Got a carousel that moves. That's pretty cool. And for those who like Taylor Swift, they have a Taylor Swift candle, which is really funny. <laughs> now, I always found it funny that there was a mini mall on top of the mall, <laughs> but they do a great job decorating. Look at the lights going all the way down. So cute. We're now making our way into Congress Hall, but I have to say, I've never seen a purple Christmas tree before, so that's kind of cool. Anyway, we're heading that way. Walking over to Congress Hall, you can already see some crazy decorations. You got these giant nutcrackers, which have to be, what, 20 feet tall, maybe? But they are massive. And you can see these ornaments on top of the sign. How cool does that look? Congress Hall inside is so gorgeous. This is their way to Winter Wonderland, which is so warm inside, it feels really great. Here's some gingerbread houses they made. You can see this is their hotel, in a way. <laughs> you see these giant nutcrackers? Watching guard. And I'll show you down their main hallway. I know, it's so picturesque with all the candy canes. We're always come and take our Christmas photos at. I'm just really happy that it's warm in here. <laughs> it's so warm. But um, every year they do their own Christmas tree lighting ceremony, which is really cool. And so we'll go outside and check out that tree. Here is one of their Christmas trees. You can see some of the ornaments on there you can actually purchase up front. Like this Congress Hall, hall one here. And last time I checked, they had a blue pig, but they've got like ones like this. And there's a pink one there. And if you look up, you can see a blue pig right there. And this is where my wife and I like to hang out because you got the <coughs> fireplace here. And look at that mantle. A lot of nutcrackers. This is their main tree. You can see it sparkles a lot. We've done some drone videos of them doing this revealing, which is spectacular. But this past weekend I wasn't here for it, so. But it does look gorgeous because one thing they do differently is they wrap the middle of the tree with lights and then they go around it. And every year it's a new tree because if you come here during the summertime, this is not here. They find a family and actually bring it in. And this shows you what they do. You can see how they wrap the inside of the tree with lights going all the way up. It's pretty neat. And then they have these little flashy lights on them, which whew, they are bright up and close. <laughs> Let me walk away. Now, if you come here on the weekends, they have an awesome Christmas village right on the left-hand side around the pool. It's not open right now because it's a, it's like we're midweek, but they do a great job. They also have a carousel in the corner that's not on right now, but they have that. And then they usually have igloos out here that you can get coffee in and tea. I was looking for some kind of light just so that it wasn't so dark, but this makes me look really like mean and spooky and scary. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna continue out of here and go to probably one of my favorite things to do is check out the Victorian houses all decorated for Christmas because it's so cool to see these houses from the 1800s decorated in today's Christmas decorations. Usually if you go back really, really far back, Christmas trees didn't have lights on them, they had candles. And so when some of these houses were originally built, those Christmas trees had candles on it. I know, talk about fire hazards, but today's world, obviously that's not an issue. But um, 
Like, I can't imagine putting candles on a Christmas tree. Anyway, let's continue. For those looking for the street where the most Victorian house is decorated, come to Columbia Street. You'll be able to see it. I mean, it starts here and continues down this way. So hopefully some lights are on. Let me go ahead and show you. So just looking down, you can already see a few Victorians all decked out. Some of them have lights on, on at this second, but they all have some kind of lights on them. Like the garland here is not on at this second, but I love this house. They have their own mailbox that looks like their own house. <laughs> Here's the Harrison. It's got lights galore outside and inside. continue down you'll see some houses have trees outside and inside as well this house also is a part of the Harrison you can see similar decor this is sisters by the sea and you can see <laughs> see what we did there they have a few trees they've got these two down below two more on the other side if you look up, I have a blue tree. Obviously, we're at the sea, so it makes sense. And they have another tree inside their house, which is gorgeous. They're using white feathers. You can see that. Here's the Mason Cottage. They have Christmas music playing. It's hard to hear what's playing. In here very pretty they've got two trees inside one here and one over there i'm going to continue down to the corner which is my favorite all-time place down here this is the main stay in tell me how gorgeous this is right and by the way they have pleasant accommodations which is i always find really funny they're not open right now but this house is always gorgeous year round. We moved over a little bit to Hughes Street where they have so many old houses that are decorated. They look so amazing looking all the way down. We are heading back onto the Washington Street Mall and it's pretty cool to see these kind of Christmas lights. I feel like these are custom. I've never seen these for sale anywhere. <laughs> this is a starfish. You want to rock the room? Yeah. yeah. Gonna make a left. This is closed right now, but we always get Christmas ornaments in here every year for our tree. Check out this window here. Look how cute. you can see Santa and his elves instead of hanging garland out it's different kinds of beef turkey <laughs> that's clever we only have about one more block to go guys you see Quark and Co has some ornaments we got Santa and the fudge kitchen sign there you guys go. That is our Cape May Christmas tour video. Let me know what was your favorite part. I like doing this every single year, so I like to change it from time to time. So maybe next year we can do it a little bit different. So let me know in the comment section. And I want to thank you for joining me. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe, turn on notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. I'm going to go because I'm freezing and it's getting really, really hard to speak. It's about 30 degrees out, plus there's a little bit of a wind, which kind of makes it like 25. So anyway, I'll see you guys later. As always, I'll see you on the beach, which it's way too cold and too dark. So I'm not going to go to the beach, but I'll see you guys later. Bye.